All right, back working on the Turbo Camaro tonight. I figured I'd do a quick video and just show you guys what I'm up to and really just highlight this uh, Motion Raceworks uh, Camaro. I guess you would call it a parachute bumper mount bracket. So basically, the actual bracket replaces your factory like 93 to 02 Camaro or Firebird rear bumper support that would be underneath the rear bumper. Um, so it actually worked out pretty nice for me, grab my flashlight here, because I didn't have the factory rear bumper support anymore. So I was actually able to install this without removing the rear bumper. So I'll show you guys what this looks like. So it almost looks like a hitch for lack of better terms. And basically... That's your cross bolt to basically remove your receiver, which is this side over here. So you can always remove the parachute when you're on your street, but then also it just bolts right up to where the factory bumper support was. And it really, really reminds me of just like a hitch basically. I mean, it basically just bolts up like a hitch. So there it is on the other side. And I was able to bolt it in, like I said, with the bumper cover still in, intact. So that was awesome. But the only reason why I was able to do that is because the factory bumper was removed. Now, what I did here is it goes through right underneath your license plate. So what I did is you can see that top edge. I just marked the center of where it was on the bumper cover. And then I used a two inch hole saw and drill the hole through there. And that actually worked out perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the receiver part off and show you guys. Give me one second here. And really the only reason why I'm doing it with two hands there is for I don't scratch anything. Um, I'm not sure if this is painted or powder coated. I think it's painted, but they don't paint it here where it slides in and out of the receiver or doesn't stick, but here is the other side. Let me grab the flashlight. So there's the other side. Um, to me, like a two inch hole saw worked perfect. Um, that gives you plenty of clearance to get that in and out of there. And if anything moves around a little bit, you've got a little bit of wiggle room around there. So like I said, I just marked it, drilled it with a two inch hole saw, worked out perfectly. Now the only negative is gonna be, well, one thing I noticed, is to install your factory license plate with the parachute on the car, you would have to notch the license plate, which pretty confidence illegal. So I wouldn't suggest doing that, but I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do yet. Um, the nice real thing is you're not gonna be running it on the street with the parachute on the car. So basically when you install your parachute, you remove the license plate and just leave it that way when you remove the parachute you can reinstall the license plate again so basically when you're at the track no license plate on the car when you're on the street no parachute you can have the license plate back on so that'll work out just fine um see if i can do this one-handed here and it just slides in like that that is installed slide your frost pin bolt in there and that bolt does have a nut and washer that's right there I didn't have that installed because I'm just sliding it in and out to show you guys. So I'm gonna put that bolt back in. That way this doesn't spin on us. I don't scratch anything. There we go. And it does have a little bit of kind of left and right. So when you tighten down that bolt, you could always make sure it's perfectly centered. So all worked out pretty well. Honestly, I'm impressed with the bracket. Um, seems to be tucked up nice to the car. Got just enough room here. I'd say uh, somewhere between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. It's kind of got a bad angle there. Kind of see it better there. And the other nice thing is when it's, when you pull the chute, it's going to pull from right here. So it's always going to pull it back away from the car. So I think that's plenty of room. Same thing from here. I've got between about an eighth and a quarter of an inch there. So it fits nice and tight, but it's kind of how you want it. Um, it's not not sticking way out back of the car, but it's got just enough room that it's not going to chip your paint. So 
yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. In the next video, I'm going to actually be putting the shroud parachute on, getting that bolted up. I've already got the cable in the car. I think we showed that in another video. So I'm going to be working all that on all that stuff tomorrow. But really just want to show you the bracket. I've got the bracket on. Um, all the main mounting points are tight. Just the receiver part is loose for right now. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. And honestly, I've got to give a shout out to Motion Raceworks on this. I was really happy with how quickly this showed up. And one really cool thing is all the bolts and hardware were all sectioned off in this bag. So you couldn't get anything mixed up. That helped me a lot. This will be our cross pin bolt here for right there for the tether for the parachute. And then these are the bolts right here for the four bolts to mount the parachute to the actual bracket there. So I was really happy about that, really happy about how quick it showed up. And they're running a sale for Black Friday. So if you guys are looking for race car parts, I suggest going on to Motion Raceworks because I just happened to stumble upon that, honestly. And that's the whole reason why I ordered the parachute and the parachute bracket because it was on sale. I'm like, yep, I've been needing to get one. And it was time. So that was awesome. I'm glad to get it. Glad to get it going, getting it on installed in here. It's been long overdue on this car. I just haven't done it because honestly, I never planned on going this fast with this car and I never wanted a parachute on this car because I just didn't want to take this car to that level. But now we've been at that level and far beyond for quite a while. So it's just getting to the point where it was honestly unsafe to be running the car without a parachute. And I've known it. I was just being stubborn. But then also last season... I burned up those Willwood front brake pads in, let me think here, about six outings. So about six outings at the track, we completely burned out the front brake pads. And they're not Willwoods, actually, they're strange, but I might have had Willwood pads on them, I can't remember. But yeah, when I seen that, I'm like, man, we just destroyed these front pads in no time and it's because i was so hard on the brakes to get the car stopped without a parachute so heating up the rotors just kind of abusing the brakes like that is never a good idea it was just time to get a parachute on the car so we'll get this thing finished up tomorrow i just wanted to make a video for you guys and show you this bracket like i said i'm impressed with it it, it fit perfectly everything seems to be going great with it so We'll get the parachute on it tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep it saucy. And let me know if you guys have any questions about this car. Um, any new subscribers aren't familiar with this build or what this is. Just let me know and we'll make plenty more content. Thanks.